Lotta Reiniger set the bar when it comes to animating stories into film. She was the first to make feature-length animated movies, something that wasn't done at the time. She made over 40 films, most of which haven't survived into the modern era. And she did all this in the early 1900s using a technique called silhouette animation. Charlotte Lotta Reiniger was born Charlotte Elizabeth Eleanor Reiniger in Berlin, Germany on June 2nd, 1899 to parents Carl and Eleanor. As a child, she showed an early interest in art. She would create silhouettes out of paper. Paper cutting as an art was big at the time, and she showed a natural aptitude for it. She could cut silhouettes as soon as she could hold scissors. She also really enjoyed theater as a child and would put on plays in her family's apartment. Silhouettes were an excellent solution for the small space of the family home. Lotta went to school for theater and studied under Max Reinhardt. She would even cut silhouettes while watching shows at the theater. At 17, she began making title cards and then did rap puppets for Paul Weiniger's version of The Pied Piper of Hamlet. The success of this work got her admitted into the Institute for Cultural Research, where she started making short silhouette animations for the Institute, which became a hub of experimental animation. It was at the school that she made her first film, The Ornament of a Loving Heart. Another member of the experimental art group at the Institute was Karl Koch, who she met in 1919 and would become her creative partner and husband. They were married on December 6th, 1921. Lotta would handle the artistic aspects of her films, such as the storyboards, the plots, and the characters, and doing the cutouts, while Carl would handle the technical aspects, such as the camera work. The two would spend their time traveling between Berlin and Paris in the 1920s. In 1922, she animated the story of Cinderella. The film starts with actual hands as silhouettes, cutting the paper, and then making it look like the paper was coming to life. Lotta never really intended to make a feature film, it was when she met investment banker Louis Hagen. It was he who would encourage her to make an animated feature, which turned out to be The Adventures of Prince Ahmed. This is the first known feature-length animated film. Often, Snow White is credited as being the first animated film. The main reason is the style of animation was different between the two, with Prince Ahmed being done as silhouette animation and Snow White was made using cell animation. The Adventures of Prince Ahmed took three years to make from 1923 to 1926. Once complete, Lotta had to arrange screenings herself as many theaters in Germany at the time didn't want to screen a feature-length animated film. But after her screenings, the press was so positive that she was invited to screen in more theaters. The film then went to tour in Paris where it ran for months before going back to Germany and being shown. She followed up Prince Ahmed with Dr. Doolittle she also directed a live action film called The Pursuit of Happiness. The film was made just as the movies were going from silence to talkies, and that film was filmed as a silent. What she did to balance that out was to add voices later on, which turned out to sound poorly and the film was considered a failure, and she went back to making animated short films. In the 1930s, Lotta and Karl left Germany after witnessing the rise of the Nazi party. Neither Lotta nor Karl were Jewish, but they had many Jewish friends and were not fans of the Hitler regime. This unfortunately is how many of her films were lost and don't survive to this day since she left the negatives behind and they were later destroyed. Most of the versions of her films we see today are made from prints of those films. Lotta and Karl moved around a lot from many countries, including France, Italy, and England. They returned to Germany for her visits, including a 1943 visit to care for her mother, but then moved to the UK in 1949, becoming British citizens. In London, they set up a production studio. They partnered with Louis Hagen Jr., the son of the man who funded her first film, Prince Ahmed. During this time, she was very productive in filmmaking, producing dozens of films as well as performing with live shadow puppet performances and wrote a book about silhouettes. A very active era until the death of her husband in 1963, at which point she withdrew from public life and filmmaking for several years. In 1969, 
she returned to Germany and started touring the U.S. and other countries talking about her animation process. In 1980, she made her last film called The Four Seasons and died a year later on June 19, 1981 at the age of 82.